Good morning, children. Today I'll be taking English for class six, English grammar, in fact. So last time we saw about nouns, the different types of nouns. Earlier we used to study about four types of nouns. Now we have five different types of nouns because the newer one has been added. That is uh, what you call material noun. And then we saw about the numbers. Numbers means singular, plural. If it is single, one object, it's a pen. If you have two or more pens, we call it as plural. So how do you say noun? Pen, one. More means we say pens. Pen, pens. So here, today what we are going to see is the same nouns. We are going to see case. I don't know whether you have studied in lower classes or not. Case, there are two, nominative case and objective cases. From the word itself, we can understand nominate to appoint. And objective means it is object to refer. So here, before we go into this objective and the nominative, we will know what is a case. Case means a word that says whether the subject is used as an uh, it's uh, used as a noun or an object or an indirect object or whatever it is. So we will be learning that is the word related to that verb. You have to learn to ask two questions. So here, what did I say? Case was, case is a word that shows if it is a noun or a pronoun or object or whatever it is. So I am giving you two sentences. Manu wrote the letter. So you have to take the verb. The verb is write. That is here it is wrote. The past tense of write. Who wrote the letter? Who wrote the letter? Manu wrote the letter. That means this is used as a subject for this verb. So when it is used as a subject, we call it as a nominative case. Sometimes in your, till class 8 you will have this one in your examination. When you go to 9 and 10, nobody will ask you which one is a, what do you call, a nominative or objective. You may be directly learning about that one. Till class 6, 7, 8 you will have as part of your question itself, underline the nominative case or the fill in the blank with the objective case or things like that. So here, Manu wrote the letter. You have to learn to ask two questions to the verb. And if it comes, if it's related to the subject, then we call it as a nominative case. If it is the object, then we call it as the objective case. Once again, I will explain. Manu wrote the letter. Name of a person. That's why I put who here. Who wrote the letter? Manu wrote the letter. So in relation to this verb, Manu is the subject. Now see the second question, the verb is, uh, in second statement, brings, is the verb. So here we don't ask who, it is not a person, the subject. So what brings glory? What brings glory? Hard work brings glory. So what brings glory? This is the subject of this verb. So this is also what? It is also a nominative case. And now we will see about this objective case. I have written two sentences on the whiteboard. The boy kicked the ball. I love music. So here the verb is kicked. The past tense of kick. So here the subject you know it is a boy person. So we can ask the question. Who kicked the ball? The boy kicked the ball. So here uh, who kicked? It is related to what they kicked. What did the boy kick? The boy kicked 
uh, ball. So in this case, ball is the object. I think you may have studied in the lower classes, object. I flew a kite. I is the pronoun, flew is the verb, and a is the determiner. What is the kite? What did I fly? A kite. So that is the object. Here, what is the object here? Ball. And so what happens? It becomes ball becomes the objective case. Whereas if they ask you the nominative one, it is the boy because who kicked the ball? The boy kicked the ball. The boy is nominative, whereas the ball is objective. The same way. I love music. What do I love? What do I love? Music. So music is the object here. And so this one music comes under this objective case. So what is a case? Any word that shows if it is a noun or a pronoun or the subject, indirect object or direct object, there are two nominative and objective. Objective is when it is the object and nominative is when it is the subject. When it is a subject, we call it as nominative and when it is the object, we call it as the objective. Thank you very much. I will give you some notes later on.